Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. I'm not extremely excited about this, but I decided I'm going to do a little statue showing of this one. This is one of the ones that's, I guess you could say, in my archives, in my collection, that was kind of buried off in the closet. I don't hate this statue, but it just never really excited me. Now, I think that, I think that, let me see if I could show you this face up close. Like, I think this is the good one. Like, this is the face that I like the most between the two Captain America faces that it comes with. I just like it because the mouth is open and it just looks like Captain America is in action compared to the other face. Let me see if I can get this back. Come on. It's a magnet, so it's a little tricky. There it is. Okay. Compared to the other face, which I'm not even going to untape because I have it like wrapped in a little piece of tape over the foam. I'll show you it with the box. If you're hearing squeaking, it's a seat I'm sitting on. It's creaky. I don't know. So, it's this face right here, which I just feel like it's so bland. It's like, it's just completely like blank. Almost like you just woke up. Like if, like if this statue was going to be like Captain America just rolled out of bed, that's the face. <laughs> All right, so um, where's, my, where's my tape measure? So again, you know, I don't hate this statue. There are things about it that I like. But there were other statues that I appreciated a lot more. And I do really enjoy the... Kotobukiya statues, uh, you know, they have some of the best statues in my opinion, especially that's, you know, some of the, um, the uh, smaller statues. And I do actually have the uh, statue of Thor as well, and maybe I'll do a video of that at some point in the future. And I keep picking up this box, so just, you know, check it out. So Captain America Reborn from the Avengers Reborn series. And I think that part of the series was Iron Man as well. Um, I don't remember exactly who was in the Avengers Reborn series. Was was I don't remember if this is the one that had Hulk and and Hawkeye and um, and Iron Man, of course, because I've owned a lot of statues over the years. And that series I had, which maybe it was this one. No, was it this one? I feel like with that one, the Captain America was nicer than this one. I could be mistaken. Anyway, I'm going to stop babbling about it. But, um, yeah, that's the box. So as far as the height, kind of, what's that, 12, uh, maybe almost, looks like it's almost 13, maybe 12 and 3 quarters. I would say if you're going to put this in some kind of a case, you know, make sure you got some extra extra height to the case. So I would go with probably 15 inches at least. So you have some room when you're taking it in and out. What I would suggest is anytime you take a statue in and out, you know, try to grab it with some gloves like this with palms that are rubber. Try to grab it, um, but also put like a loose, like, like a washcloth, a clean one, one that's been washed. Um, put that on top of it or like some loose paper towels or, or something so that when you're sliding it in and out as you're sliding it you don't risk scratching the statue you know if anything the statue will collide with the shelf but the towel part will rub the shelf and not the statue something I learned a little bit later on or something that I kind of like figured out a little bit later on so we got the height let's Look at the width. So you got at least nine inches or so you would want. Maybe nine and a half would be good. So I would say, you know, go with 10 inches or to be really on the safe side, 11 inches of width if you're going to put this inside of some kind of, um, you know, a shelf, a case or whatever. Uh, let's see. I did the height. I did the width. Let's, let's look at it this way. I know the tape measures upside down, but we got one, two, seven. So I would say it looks like maybe six and a half inches or so wide, or maybe six. I can't really tell. Let me line this up a little bit better. 
so six now six inches is six inches is about right so you know if you're going to put this in something again you would want to make sure you have some extra um extra room so probably about eight inches or so you want to have so just a couple of inches on each side to keep it safe so let's talk about the statue a little bit i feel like in this statue captain america is obviously something maybe was shot at him from up ahead like a i don't know a missile or somebody flung a rock at him or potentially there's an enemy that is gonna punch him you know, was trying to hit him or attack him with a weapon or something, and Captain America just takes a shield and just throws it up quickly. I like the A, the Avengers A that's over here that's broken on the floor. So I'm guessing that the Avengers headquarters was under attack, and that's why it's kind of like in rune, and Captain America's standing on one of the steps. Let's zoom in a little bit more on Captain America, and a little bit less on me. What I do like is I do like the shininess that's on. I'm gonna get a flashlight. All right, got a flashlight. So I want you to kind of check this out. So check this out with the flashlight. I don't know if it's gonna show or not, but it does have a shine to it. Maybe this isn't the right flashlight for it, but Captain America's, Captain America's suit it's definitely a little bit shiny. Whatever type of paint they used, I don't know if that's showing it. I don't really think it is. I have a feeling it's going to look crazy on camera. If I move this back a little, um, you could see the shine at some point, I think, I hope. I mean, I could see it, but I don't know if the camera will say it will, I don't know if the camera will show it or not. But it's a little bit shiny, like the, um, it has a look of like scales. Almost like a goldfish. That's what, the, that's what it kind of looks like. When you, like when you look at a goldfish, the scales on the goldfish, how they're a little bit shiny. All right, turn this flashlight off. Probably didn't do anything. So overall, Captain America looks pretty good. I always thought that it was a little bit... I always thought that it was a little bit strange looking over here by the bicep, but that's because... You know, that's how you put it together, so... The arm... Um, the arm comes off and goes in the box like that. And then you just kind of line it up. But over here it does look higher, like it looks lumpy on the suit. Whereas over here, the suit looks pretty even with his, with his arm, with the biceps and the triceps. So a little bit different. This arm looks a little bit bigger in my opinion as well. And I get it, this arm's up in the air. So usually when an arm is up higher, it's, it looks a little bit smaller. But this arm just looks a little bit bigger to me overall. Maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know, it just does. It's a good statue. It's not, again, it's not my favorite statue. There were so many other ones. Um, one of the Bowen statues I, I really appreciated. And then there was, um, I think it was Sideshow or, or there was another one from Kotobukiya that I liked as well. I just can't remember which one it was. It was definitely Bowen. I remember the Bowen one. That one was really nice. I had that one with uh, uh, the Red Skull to go with it. It wasn't wasn't a set, but it was just like you know I purchased the um, the Bowen statue and I purchased the Red Skull. The pouches look look nice. They look like the leather. I like the paint on them. They look pretty realistic. So that's about it for this showing of this statue. Um, wanted to keep it kind of short and sweet, if possible. Hopefully, I didn't ramble too much. I do appreciate everyone watching. Thanks again. Have yourselves a great day.